Hey everyone, and welcome to The Witcher 3 and Blood and Wine, part 50 already. Where I just cleared the Hansa, mostly. I didn't actually completely clear it, but I killed the huge wave of enemies because, you know, that's boring to watch. Uh, but I stopped here because there was loot in here and there was feline trousers in here and boots, so I figured I'd wait and record it instead. So, you know, for your entertainment. The Hansa leader's notes. It all went off without a hitch. Bartolome de Launay proved a Ponzi fool, just like I thought. Witcher fell right into our trap too, put too much stock in his skills, though I thought he could handle anything. At first we acted like bored thugs, just picking our noses and waiting for our pay. When the, when the Lone and the Witcher finally came to terms, the Witcher let slip he was hiding the rest of the diagrams in the pits of Broom. Dangerous place, that, but maybe we'll find some safe route, route to the Witcher's cache. So I've already done that. I already went there and I looted everything. I guess the, the bandits didn't make it there. <laughs> One bolt from the black took care of the Lone. Well, that was just a normal guy, obviously. Expected more trouble from the Witcher, so we hit him with a couple... We hit him with a couple. Good thing, too. Oh, he hit him with several bolts. Okay. Because he still had a good heap of life in him. This is a really oddly worded letter, this entire thing. Though he couldn't even get up off his belly. I let the last check just how much pain a Witcher can stomach. They'd earned a bit of recreation after the fine job they'd done. Then we grabbed the coin of the Lone and soon we're off to the pits of Broom to get those precious diagrams and sell for all we can. So they uh, pretty brutally murdered the Witcher, checking how much pain he could withstand. Great. Witcher and armorer, both had shit luck. Well, I mean, the ar that's the armorer's fault though. Because as we've learned in the house, the Lone, as told by his wife, said. I should hire some bandits to keep me safe from the Witcher. And then the bandits killed both of them, so... That didn't work out, I guess. But now we still have... Apparently there's someone down here, too. Or... I oh, just did... Okay, we're gonna ignore that dog. We need to get up somehow. Ah, uh, this is the somehow. Because who cares about that dog when you can go up? Save. I'll diddle you with your own diggling. I'll diddle you with your own diggling. Of course. No, here. Kerflui. Oh, he's one of the dual wielders. He can't even parry. Oh, those are always the easiest. Resin. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Why not? Armor die. Some diagrams and his notes. Okay. Taking the silver salamander in did a lot to relieve the tense atmosphere. Have I run into that yet? I don't remember that name. Things had already relaxed a bit in the swamps because a good number of our men went off on an assignment. But our hunts are so bum-hugging huge the ruins of Palace Arthatch still look like a bleeding bazaar. A man can't even empty his bowels in privacy. To top it all, my bones ache to high heavens from this humidity, and even wenches can't warm me up properly. Would they even come here? I wouldn't come here. Just saying. They probably stole some, didn't they? Need to look around for something and fast before the good mood from the last raid fades completely and folk get ornery. This time, we need to hit something big. Thinking more and more about that vineyard in the south, Coronata. It'll do perfectly. Worth sending some scouts, maybe start planning a big job? So I killed those guys. I think I killed his scout party. I'm 99% sure. Because Coronata is that uh, vineyard that I saved a while back. Oh, it's quite a while back, actually. With the two bickering um, other vineyard owners that then the men got married in the end because I cleared up the plot and saved everybody and then they named a wine after me, which is the White Wolf. So. Top notch. Ah, and I need to straighten out something with the lads. Ever... Ever other one... Okay, that's supposed to be every, no doubt. Every other one of them's hit up with the idea of scribbling down memoirs. Regular bloody bunch of literati. 
Should take to practicing swordplay or hunting instead of becoming diarists. I keep a log, that's enough for the whole of us. Or the whole lot of us, even. I'll whip one or two of the harlot's brutes, wipe my derriere with their diaries, and maybe the rest will get down to some honest banditry. Well. One way to do it, I suppose. Oh, he has some good stuff in his... Well, I can't really call it castle. It's really just a ruin, isn't it? What else do you have? Hmm. I guess that was his... His main loot. Okay. Can we jump down here? No. Let's light the signal. I think that's a good idea, right? Actually, no, it isn't. <laughs> Just realized. No, if, if I light it, then the bandits come as well. I feel like Toussaint e owes me a bit more than Witcher. just helping with the beast. You wouldn't be seeking an apprentice. Bravo! Bum botching, bravo! A camping good show at the tournament, Witcher. Uh, thank you. Well, well. Starling Strakenoff, House Bum Titled Harlitzbrut, has bit the dust. May he rest in pain and agony. You've earned yourself a steep price cut here, Witcher. They seem to have a thing with bum diddling in this part of town. I don't know what that is about, but guess we can't ask. Stragon. Name's familiar. Ran into him a while back. What's this? He, he must have been a horrible hound shacker. Decent folk don't bear that name. Can't say if that's true for all the Stragons, but this one sure wasn't decent. Met a bad end, too. Justly so. You carved up the knob copper. I knew it! Druids did it for me, actually. Burned him alive. Oh, lovely. Lovely! Wait, was that that Stragon? I don't actually remember this guy's name, but if he's talking about getting burned alive by druids, then that's probably the story of when he got captured by the bandit's dragon. Okay, it's- I'm sorry, it's story time again. <clears throat> when Geralt gets to Toussaint in the books, he's trained- or when he- yeah, we know, traveling around it at least. Uh, he's not actually in Toussaint at that point yet, so it's not really the same thing. He's around it. And he's looking for a half-elf called Shiru, which we have a Gwent card for now. And Shiru wants to capture him and kill him and, you know, find Siri, all that lovely things. And he's getting uh, some help from a local bandit leader, a Hansa leader, and his name is, I guess, also Stragon. I can't actually remember his name, so, but I'm just assuming that it's him. Um, and Geralt finds Shiru, but he pretends that he's not Geralt. Like, they... they pretend that he killed Geralt. Geralt pretends that he killed Geralt. So they have a meeting with Shiru who say, Hey, I am definitely not Geralt. Yo, I'm not I'm really not Geralt. Look, I have Geralt's wolf medallion because I killed Ger Geralt. I did that. But Shiru sort of plays along and says, Oh, that's great. You know, let me just see about your pay. But in the meantime, Shiru already knows. He knows that Geralt is actually Geralt and not not Geralt. So, uh... Eventually, Nilfgaard shows up, just sort of parades around uh, the little hut where they're having this talking, and Geralt thinks that Nilfgaard will arrest Shiru or kill him or something like that. But they don't, they're actually on Shiru's side. They're also bought out. So it's either this guy that's Stragon, the Nilfgaardian commander, who walks in. This could be Stragon, I can't remember the name, I'll probably edit it in somewhere. 
He walks in and he says, Haha, we're on Shiru's side. You're going down. And then there's... They walk outside. And then there's also... Uh, the bandit leader. It might actually be the same person. This is very vague in my head because this guy doesn't really live very long. <laughs> he doesn't live long at all. Just actually just a few pages of life, clearly. Um, but yeah, the, this, this dragon there decides that he wants to have a little fun with Geralt and he wants to have a little fun with Angoulême, who is also there. Now you have to know that I'm going to go with Stragon being uh, the, the Hansel leader here. You have to know that Angoulême was in Stragon's Hansa. And Angoulême is a girl who looked like Ciri. Like, quite a lot like Ciri, which is why Geralt took her along as well. You know, felt sorry for her. And Ang Angoulême was the one that got them uh, got them to, to Shiru in the first place. But Stragon wasn't very happy with Angoulême because, you know, she used to be in his Hansa. She ran off. So, yeah, Stragon wants to kill both of them, painfully. But that doesn't actually happen. Um, and I forget what actually happens here, but I'm somewhat certain that uh, Kahir actually uh, walks in, uh, Kahir, Kahir and uh, Milva. This is getting very convoluted, isn't it? Yes, it is. Of course it is. I'll, I'll do a video about this sometime and actually put it in order. But uh, they're saved by, I believe it's Milva and, and uh, Kahir. And Kahir and Milva are fellow traveling companions, obviously, of Geralt. And they get there and they start slaughtering people, basically. They start slaughtering people left, right, center. And they, this gives Geralt and Angulam some time to escape as well. I'm not going to go into the whole escaping part, but everyone escapes. And they get separated because Kahir gets hurt and, and, you know, lots and lots of chaos until they finally meet up again in a forest with the druids. You have to know that the druids here are very powerful druids. They they don't mess around. They don't care. Uh, and the knights aren't actually respect that as well. They they're scared to uh, to fight the druids. But Geralt gets there and um, they get grabbed by a giant walking tree. Think Lord of the Rings at this point. There's a giant walking tree because uh, the bandits also fled into the forest and you know, the elf guardians and. They all fled there, and um, the druids didn't like people trespassing in their woods. So they said, you know, we're going to just make a giant tree, we're going to make a walk, and then the tree is going to pick people up, and, you know, no one's going to do anything against that because it's a giant tree. Geralt can't stop that. No one can stop that. So the giant tree picks up Geralt as well, and his friends, and they walk to the center of the forest, where they find out that Shiru, who was still hunting Geralt, of course, is also caught and Stragon is with him and they're all whimpering and crying and upset because the druids plan to burn them and as this guy has already told you this guy Geralt over here is uh, they succeeded in doing that Geralt doesn't want them burned mind you he doesn't want Shiru burned because Shiru has information that he needs about wow what's his name again that's terrible I keep thinking villain Triton Mirth but that's not his name Vilgaforce, there we go. He has information about Vilgaforce. But the druids don't care. The druids burn everyone. They also... This is where this happens. Because Shiri still has the wolf medallion. Geralt's wolf medallion. And this is where he loses his medallion. Gone. Just gone. Melted down. In the fire. Never got it back. I will tell you more about that medallion at some other time because that, then that's really going way too far into this. But that's what uh, Geralt knows Stragon from, I will assume, because this is the only time I've heard of any druid burning. And uh, he burned, yeah, he burned alive. It was unpleasant. That took way too long to explain, didn't? I'm sorry. I guess we'll just uh, uh, leave. <laughs> See you later. Alligator. You should finish those sentences, what girls. A what no. a story. Okay, so... How much do we still have left? Do we already have everything? Oh, this is Witcher Contracts. Good job. That's not where we're going. Wait. I do have everything already? No, 
way. I do have everything already. Wow. Impressive, I think. Well, in that case, we're going to uh, teleport to our master blacksmith. After we check this, because we're right here. Yes. Horse? Okay, horse does not like the water enough. We'll move a bit and then ask him again. Oh god, I see a monster. I don't want to fight the monster because that's effort. Although that's probably also a point of interest, isn't it? It isn't really. Is there anything interesting to see here? No, there isn't. That means we're gonna leave. Oh, it's a place of power. It's a place of power and it's a white. Slow down that I might cleft thee in half. Or, you know, maybe not in half, but I, I want to cleft. Let me cleft. And that upgraded my sword. 99% sure. Mm, magic. A place of power. Really, Geralt? What a nice place of power this is. Oh, that's very pleasant. Okay, well, we got that one. Um, that's where we were going, I guess. Yes, it was. Well, I can teleport here later, so I'll do that. But now, I want my armor. Run, it's um, important for my mental well-being. Because I can't believe I've actually gone through this entire game almost with still previous DLC's armor. Why did I do that? I don't know. It just kind of happened. Oh god, really? I'm gonna have to kill them? Fine. Now let me teleport, please. Okay, where's the armor again? No, definitely... Definitely in the middle. Yeah, I think it's this guy. Pretty sure it's this guy? 99% sure it's this guy? I mean, if you're a good armor, you'd sit in the middle of the city, right? Yeah. Okay, I didn't actually mark him on the map. Bad ideas all around. Um. Uh, yeah. Oh, it actually says Grandmaster Smith. Wow. Well, I guess I would have already known. I do like how everyone's calling me champion now. Top form. Yes, yes, so you could say that I do look at top form, indeed. Wait, is that the entrance? Uh, this guy actually talks about quests I've done. He tells people about the statues again. Oh, it's not this guy. I guess it's from this side. Oh yeah, of course it is. Greetings. I hope your search goes well. Yes, it does. Let me craft some things. Would you craft something for me? Of course. Would you? Would you really? Okay, so. We need... Infused Slizzard Hide and Enriched Dimeritium Plate. Um, and you can't... Wait, no, you can. Cure Draconit. Um, was it this? It was this, wasn't it? Oh, God. Now I completely forgot again. Oh, why can't I just take things off this list? Is that not, not an idea? No. Uh, but I can pin, so we'll just do that instead. Enhance? No. Grandmaster? Yeah. So these are the gloves. Junk. Enhanced superior, wow. Do I even have any of them? I don't think I do. Let's 
superior. That's Grandmaster. Wait, it's not actually... Oh, that's a silver sword. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think that would ever be an upgrade. Nothing's ever going to be an upgrade to that. But I should make these. Or at least I would. Feline Steel Sword Mastercrafted. Okay, I say that, <clears throat> but I don't think I can make them because I don't have that feline sword. Wow. I'm terrible. I'm a terrible witcher. Okay, well, we'll definitely make these though. And these are runes, and we want. I uh, in these? Do I got that right? Do I have that right? I think I do. Okay. Infused Slizzard, Enriched Amaritium. Yeah, that is what I need. It's this one. And I need Infused Slizzard. This one. I can actually make this one. That's excellent news. And then we need... I think that's everything, actually. Isn't it? Ah, so it shows up in the in the shop. They say, Are "You sure? I think you're a liar. You're a liar. I've never actually used that before, so you should know that." And I don't actually. I need a piece of paper to write this down. Oh, it actually it removes my pins. Why? This is very tedious. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to not make a cut in the video, but I'm just going to cut this out for a minute until I have my compa companions components crafted. Right, so here we are again. Um, I'm very glad I saved you that. You uh, also want to know that I had to sell several kidneys to get enough coin to craft everything. And now here we are. Let's go. One. Two. It'd be so funny if I craft the wrong one now. I'd cry a little. What? Okay, I missed one. Wait, that means I missed two. That means I just didn't finish crafting it, didn't it? I can make these though, that's nice. Oh wait, he actually requires something entirely different, that's why. Wait, what? Why? Actually mentioning that why why do you why do you why do you have to be special enriched dimeritium ingot yeah because i didn't jump through enough hoops to make that just then you're a horrible horrible game you are no too expensive we'll just buy more two more of these one two three oh okay now really 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 done Really, really done. Farewell. Good luck on the path. Really done. Okay, we're going to equip our new armor. Better be good. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Right. I, I of course, I don't get the six cent because yeah, uh, you'd have to remove Aronite for that. It's not that good anyway. Strong attacks increase fast attack damage for 5 seconds by 10% for each piece of the set. Oh, that is actually pretty cool. So, one strong attack and then you continue with fast attacks. And I have a hood now again. The best Look at my hood. Around. Special oh, discounts on purchases of 10 or more. I am so hoodie right now. But yes. I like it. That was worth it. I think in my Twitch playthrough, I'm going to go wolf. See what that one looks like. I actually wanted to make all of them, but uh, I realized that I'm probably not going to have enough money for that. That is really, really expensive. Oh yeah, I was going to check out my home again, wasn't I? Yes, I was. That poor guy's just been waiting for me. Waiting for me. Waiting for me. And... 
Milton the Pirate Waiting paid more. a false victim to his own cowardice. The beast of Beauclair has... Why is this guy shouting about Milton falling prey to his own cowardice when that really wasn't what he was doing at all? Pick and choose. This is rude. Uh, yes. Let's see what my home looks like now. Because it's been a while. And I installed quite a few changes. So this should be good. This is the new stables. I have my own ta fi 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 da fa ing worker. I've always wanted one of those. Let's see what he says about all this. My place does look nice now, doesn't it? Renovations coming along all right. I am delighted to inform you we have completed our labors. You can now devote yourself to enjoying the vineyard's delights to the fullest. You must forgive me my temerity, sir, but I thought with all the work on Corfo Bianco completed and with the estate looking more beautiful than ever, it might be appropriate to commemorate the moment. Uh, okay. I didn't think it was done yet, actually. Sure, why not? During the tidying that preceded the renovations, I came across a bottle of Sepramento, the 1250 vintage. I cannot say by what miracle it survived, but it is here. And we've course to open it today. All right, that's a drink, BB. And then he ran straight into the crowd, burning bouquet in hand. All thought it a part of the performance, so they only laughed, even when the decor began to catch fire. It was not until the flames engulfed Baron Mahefkin's beard that folk began to realize something was amiss and went to put out the fires. <laughs> Sounds like Monsieur Bolius and Madame Nina threw some first-rate balls here. It was so. In this regard, Baron Rossel was decidedly more reserved. So tell me, Barnabas Basil. What's the wine situation like here? Am I going to produce any this year? This year is out, I fear, sir. Last autumn, a fungus destroyed all the vines. Baron Rossell had new ones planted, but it will be some time before they start bearing fruit. Assuming that is, the fungus does not reappear. Mm, that'd be bad. This sepramento got me dreaming. It's amazing. Isn't it, though? Allow me to top you off, sir. There. Thanks. That is very comfortable. I could live there. Also, I like how my hood has also changed Geralt's hair somehow. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. I have a bed and everything. Ah, that's so comfortable. Alright. Okay, now I'm going to make an actual cut here. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Willing to help, but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome love for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. 